Hi, today we are going to speak about mapping patterns and in this case, in this particular video, we are going to speak about the aggregation pattern inside Logic App, the new data mapper that Microsoft released um, uh, a few weeks ago. My name is Anu Pereira and uh, I'm going to be um, addressing this, how we can implement this pattern inside Logic App standard and using the data map or the new data map to do the transformation and, and implementing this aggregation pattern. Um, I, I wrote in the past a, a mapping book about uh, uh, applying some patterns in Beastalk and this uh, is still a valid uh, book and one of these goals is how we can apply the same patterns we we did in Beastalk and, and do the same or accomplish the same pattern uh, inside a Logic App standard and using the new data mapper. The book is free, uh, you can go ahead and, and, and um, download it and, and, and read it if you want. Um, it has 12 mapping patterns and 400 pages about XSLT, but today we are going to speak in this case, the aggregator patterns. And it is basically combining two different uh, inbound messages into a single outbound message. And that uh, these patterns happens a lot when we are um, doing int enterprise integration and we, for example, receive a message, an inbound message. Uh, we are processing this message, but at the same time, we need to gather more information from another system. So, for, for example, we do a call to a SQL Server database, we get more information, and then we need to combine uh, some um, fields of the uh, or, or source, uh, the original message, and then combine from the the message that we get from other system, provide uh, create a different outbound message to deliver to a, a system. There are many ways, um, many scenarios that we implement that needs this logic and that's basically the aggregated pattern that happens be behind the scenes. So, um, in BizTalk, this is, was quite easy and if you are not, uh, if you are familiar better, you will understand better if you are not. So, um, the BizTalk server is the Microsoft integration platform on permis it has 22 years, uh, 23 years old of existent. The latest version is 2020. And we can have mappings, uh, transformation, data transformation. That's mappings is, is XSLT and basically you are transforming an XML message to a different XML message. And we can apply uh, maps on the receive ports, on the so on the uh, send ports, and inside our uh, orchestration that basically compared with Azure is a logic app, is an orchestration, a workflow. Um, this aggregated pattern happens inside and only inside the orchestration. We need an orchestration to do this aggregated pattern, and basically. Um, Again, this orchestration, it is a logic app, so uh, it will apply the same concepts. We need a logic app to apply this aggregated pattern. We cannot do just a direct transformation using that. Um, and the reason why is that this, this is the only way that we can specify multiple inbounds or multiple outbounds. Um, and, and what BizTalk does behind the scenes is, for example, we use these uh, transformation uh, shape that is here and basically decide which uh, which message we are going to transform in this case I'm going to transform a message result it doesn't matter for the for the goal of this uh, demonstration and here we going to say that I'm going to create a new map transformation demo and uh, my source message is going to be for example the users and the address and my destination is going to be the result that is specified there so by doing that this shape behind the scenes is going to create an internal schema um, co uh, that combines to the two schemas the address 
end users and it will create the map and as you see that it's going to have a schema with a root and with the input message part 0 and input message part 1 so the 0 is the users the first um, type of message that we define early on the on the orchestration and the second it is the address and we can expand uh, and we can do uh, the transformations that we need to do uh, here so we can go to the toolbox and we can grab our functoids um, let's say a string functoid a concatenate functoid and then we can say last name first name we can go enter and, and customize this to have a space between the last name and the first name and then we can say for example in this case imagine that there is a, a full name on the destination we can map that to a full name and we do a lot of transformations uh, inside the the, the bstock mapper um, this is just an example the the actually map was this one uh, where i'm i'm uh, um, i'm mapping uh, all the users from uh, from the destination from the source to the destination and then i'm going to map the address based also on the on the equal uh, if the user is equal equal with with uh, if these users id are the same then we are going to aggregate them uh, and, and combine on the on the destination but we are kind of aggregating two different messages uh, into uh, a single uh, message now this is quite uh, easy to do in in, in in logic app there's a lot of things behind the scenes uh, once we publish uh, we send the message and it's going to be executed and bsoc will handle that and, and that's it so bsoc is easy to do can we do it inside logic app standard um and the, the the answer is yes so we can uh, we can implement the same the same principles that we did in in bstalk uh and apply here in in the in the logic app standard so here i have an example that i have an http user is received so i'm i'm sending a, a json um to http uh, instead of calling and for uh, simplicity of the sample instead of calling a sql server or an external server and em emulate a call uh, to an external service and and get back a response and this is going to be a static response so here imagine that i'm calling a, a system and i'm getting this response back i have the user id the address line postal code and town uh what i'm going to send nevertheless uh to the to the um, to the logic app it is a simple message with the user last name and first name just kind of similar to what we see we saw uh on the on the base talk uh, uh, project um now in base talk you 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 saw that i was having a transformation shape and define the inbound schemas and the outbound schema and it will generate behind the scenes a schema for me with the two inbounds so th this will not happen here in in logic app standard but we can implement the same behavior so i i use a compose uh, operation and i'm just kind of creating a, um, a json message with two bodies inside so you see that I have the input message part 0 and the input message part 1. The 0 will have the body that I receive, the JSON payload that I receive on the HTTP request. And the message part 1 is going to have the output of this uh, emulate call. Kind of the external system get the call and have it here. So this will end up being something like this so uh, um, the user id that i'm going to send this is the response i'm getting from uh, the emulation of the external system and then i'm going to pass this to the map and execute the transformation so i need and in this case i need a schema so i can take this payload and use kind of an online tool like um 
JSON schema tool that I'm providing that and generate the schema. Uh, there are many, many other tools like this one and JSON to JSON schema conversion. It's kind of generate the, 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 the schema behind the scenes, the JSON schema. So I can copy that uh, one or the other and I need to put uh, inside um, my local project of standard, logic app standard project. There is a artifact folder and there is a schema folder inside and I need to put that here. So you saw that I already have it, that multi-part schema JSON. And uh, let me, oh, I don't have it here, but let me see if I found, no. If I'm going inside that folder, you see that I have, and let me see here, my project. Large cap standard, large cap aviators, and there is this artifact folder, schema folder, and there will be this multi part JSON. Um, and this is going to be uh, a JSON schema, like you saw on the um, uh, on the site that I mentioned. That's tools, online tools that generate schema. Okay. So I have it here, and now uh, what we need to do is create a map. So before I create a map, uh, and for you guys to see that this is going to work, I'm going to send this payload. I already have my uh, um, workflow, my logic app running uh, in my machine. I'm just giving a call to my machine. Again, it's my machine, so is <laughs> is. Uh, take a little bit more time because I'm running everything local and you see that I have the username the last the last and first name and now the result is username full name address line so I apply all the transformation that I had, I was uh, intend to apply and you see that if I go here to the overview I will have this historic there already and um, and uh, you see that I received my uh, last name, first name, Sandra Pereira. Uh, I have the emulation call that I'm going to define saying that this is the static response. I have the, the multi-part compose message and you see that it's going to be composed in two parts. And then I'm going to apply and call the transformation and you see that this is going to be a result and get back the result uh, to the chip to the postman that I was calling that. So um, it is possible to do the aggregation part and, uh, inside the logic app standard. Now let me go and explain first um, this pattern. I have the map here already and you see that I have the root uh, inbound message part one and part zero and I have all the transformations here to apply. Uh, so I have this first name, concat and the address. Um, I'm going to explain you how you create that. But before that, uh, once we have our, um, our logic app, uh, our logic app in this case is a is a stateful logic app. We now add a new option uh, call that mapper. You see that there is a new connector here, uh, data mapper, and there, there is a new action called transformation using data mapper XSLT. We can use that. And uh, what is the content that we need? So what is the inbound that we are going to send to that action? And of course, we are going to say that this is the multi-part message. This is a map with the logic app, and this is going to be the map is going to aggregate mapping pattern. And that's it. Once I set that this action, uh, now we are going to be able to use this um, data mapper transformation inside our logic app standard without the need of an integration account. So this is built in capabilities. We don't need an integration account anymore. Um, 
Now for creating a map, this is quite simple. No, uh, we go here on the our Azure, where are the extensions? Once we install the data mapper extension, we have an option here to create or load an existing map. So let's say I'm going to create, and it's going to be aggregated pattern, and press enter. Um, on the source schema, I can go here and say I want my multi-part schema JSON, uh, and this is a, a JSON schema. And one of the greatest things about this map is that supports transformation from XML to JSON, JSON to XML, uh, XML to XML, JSON to everything is possible here. So, and in the in the BSOC mapper, that will that didn't happen. It's only XML to XML. Okay, and the target schema. Let me check what is the user data. Okay, uh, and on the target schema, let me select the user data, and that's it. So we now have the importation about the schemas, the source, and the destination. So now we need to start mapping all of this stuff. So uh, we need to enter on the root for now, and uh, you notice that this is a peer. The scheme is there, we just need to define what are the elements that we are going to work on this first part of the, in the, the mapping. And in this case, it's user ID, last name, and first name. And the user ID is going to be a direct transformation. And because I have a full name, last name, first name, I'm going to use a function. In the BSOC was functoids, here these functions. And I'm going to search for a concat. And you see that I have a string concat. Uh, this is going to appear on top of that uh, in source schema. At the moment, I cannot drag and drop, but Microsoft is improving that experience. And in the future, we will be able to drag and drop this and put what uh, when we w uh, want on the on the uh, mapping area. So let's expand it here and um, let's go here to the properties expand a little bit the properties and uh, I want to say that my my first input is going to be the first name I need to add a, 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 an additional input because well if I put first name and last name is going to be together without any space uh, so I need to enter a custom value and say between the first name and the last name is going to have a space and here is going to be the last name and then we map it to first to the full name okay so uh, we have the first part already mapped we need to map the address and so we need to click inside the address um, node and see already disappear the the, the 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 elements that I was working on. I mean another record so is telling me pick the the elements that you need to work for this element. So I'm going to here, and in this case, it's going to be the um, address, postal code, and town. Okay. Uh, and it's going to be kind of a direct map here for this operation. And now we have our map uh, working. So if I'm uh, going to apply the same uh, inbound message, I hope, um, test it, send it here. This is going to produce the output expected, that is the uh, user ID, full name, and then I have um, the town, the postal code, and the line. So, again, as expected, um, and as you see, working. This is the way that we can apply, at least for now, the aggregated pattern inside Logic App Standard and using the new, the brand new data mapper uh, of Logic App Standards. Okay. So, just give me, let me put it here. 
Yeah, my contacts on the screen. Uh, feel free to reach me out if you have any questions, and see you uh, later for another um, data mapper video uh, that will be released soon. Bye.